Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing my BAE Higher GR3. This is an Airfix model, as you can probably see, because it's not the real thing. So, um, it was a nice build. Um, see tricky parts in the instructions to understand, but yeah, I, I like the instruction manual because it's got a paint, well, actual colour paint sheet, so that was good for painting. Um, I'll do like a run through like I do with my ships. So start off sort of at the front antenna. It's very small. Moving on in nice cockpit. One thing I don't like about Airfix is that the cockpit tends to be quite cloudy. So like as you can see there, that's a big patch, you can't really see through it. But other than that, I think I've done the cockpit pretty well with the, the painted lines on it. Moving on then, I don't know whether you can see right inside, but there's actually an engine in there, so that's where the air intakes are. And then you've got your RAF symbol on, on your air intake. I don't even know whether you can see these, but there's warning signs. So uh, what does that say? Fire access. Um, fire access and like place where you spray water and all. So that's, that's pretty cool. I, I like those decals. Now moving on, I'll bring this back here. You can see the detail on the wings. Um, the wee square hatch in the, the centre of the fuselage. Um, then you've got your weapon systems. So these, these are called SPUD. And each one contains just 20 missiles. And they can be fired whenever they want via the cockpit. So that's pretty neat features of higher. Um, can't really show this, but that's a nozzle. So then they can be directed down for the plane to be able to take off vertically. Um, not sure whether there's anything else to really show you. Don't know whether you can see that. Riding X XV seven seven eight. Um, and then on, on the tail there's a number sixteen and a few stripes. Warning sign on the back again. So uh, I'll turn around to the underside, there's just a few more decals on it. XV778 and then you've got your RAF symbol. Um, one thing I did notice, when I opened the, the pack of the sprues, there's a few pieces missing. Um, there were the engine cover, the wheel covers. So they were very, very, well they're very, very gone as such. They weren't, they weren't there. So what I've done, I filled this up with blue tack, put a layer of glue across it, and then painted it over. So, oh dear, I've just dropped something. It was another thing sitting on the desk. It's quite cluttered at the moment. But as you can see, you wouldn't notice that that is blue tack. And again, then on the back section, I don't know if you can see that. There, that's all blue tack painted over. So I think I've done that well. Um, overall reviews this model, I would give it a three and a half out of five for the following reasons. The the wings required a lot of glue, glue to actually make them stick together. And I don't I'll probably turn it around here. Oh dear my background's just kind of being mucked up there. I'm not even sure about the there's a line here. That's where the, the solid plastic ends and the melted plastic here starts. Cause the poly cement, the glue that I've been using it actually melts the plastic and hardens it again. That's how it glues it together. So it obviously melted here. That's why I put too much glue on it. But other than that, it's a very good model. But that let the whole thing down because it, it, it ruined the paint job and it ruined the decals. So that's why I gave it a three and a half. But I, I do like the, the final look and I'll probably enjoy looking at it for the rest of my years. So that's pretty much it. Um, look out for my next video and I'll see you then. Bye!